is uh, with your experience in spirits, in spirits and being a, an entrepreneur now in spirits, what do you see in the next 18, 24, and 36 months as emerging trends uh, across the boundaries uh, in beverages? Uh, do, do, is there anything that you are expecting to happen or some uh, trends or fashions which, you know, they lost their juice and so they're going to go get out of the way or something which is actually catching up uh, and uh, we should do all be aware of? Look, uh, we're an industry which, uh, if, uh, which very often we get put into the FMCG bucket, but actually, if anything, we're, the, we're a slow moving consumer goods, you know, perhaps with the exception of beer. Um, the, uh, the trends take a long time to develop. Uh, a lot of people are discovering Aperol now, or they discovered it in the last couple of years, but very few people know that Aperol has been pushed for the last 15, you know. It usually takes around seven to eight years for a trend to develop in the industry. Uh, I, I think that the next trend that we will see in the next year is something that's already happening somewhere. And, and, and in this industry, we tend to talk of global trends, but actually they tend to be quite regional. Uh, gin tonic certainly has been the cocktail of the decade in Europe. Uh, it has not been the case in the US where they are going through a tequila perhaps being the drink of the, of, of the decade. So I think it'll be interesting to see whether gin and tonic passes over to the US and whether tequila has a chance of growing in Europe. Uh, I, I, they both are big questions in the, in the industry. Um, I think that we will continue to see the growth of, uh, uh, of lower alcohol products. Uh, and obviously I, I firmly believe in vermouth uh, and, uh, and that's where my uh, and Kalidos personal bet is on. Um, uh, and it'll be interesting to see if hard seltzers can make it across uh, across the, the Atlantic. I think that there is a, a chance because of the uh, Anglo-Saxon way in the UK. Uh, but, or will it be something different, uh, perhaps more inspired in the, in the Italian aperitivo which plays a similar role in, in a pre-batch or RTD way uh, uh, with a similar cost uh, structure, uh, that could be as well. So uh, in Italy, you have a lot of experience with products mm -hmm. like that. Uh, so, uh, so we will see, it will be fascinating.